Hello, welcome to the Shane Talker podcast. This is a dumb podcast we just made up because we're fucking idiots. Um, this episode um, is about waifus. I am just going, I have a waifu. <laughs> Next person. <laughs> I'm irrelevant. That sums it up basically pretty well. Hello, I'm Astrad. I I'm supposed to work on crazy projects like a gunslinger girl MMP, but I'm here on this podcast. I'm Kano, I'm an idiot. And I'm supposed to be like the leader or something. I'm Sims man, I also have wife foods. <laughs> <laughs> I am Vamp Cavendish. The best vampire around. So waifus. Quickly, what what is a waifu to you guys? Is that just best you, girl, Bam. or is she You're my wife, like wife material? It does not. It does not need to have uh, to be best girl. A show can have more than one wife. wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, personally, um, I have it as a mixture as like best girl and wife material, and uh, characters that are similar to me. Uh. It's like one big uh, clusterfuck. Hey. Pretty much the same as Vamp. Hey. Um, I'm uh, kind of actually anti waifu. Like, as anti would be as something as in anime, as in I don't really care and I don't really like it. I mostly don't yeah, like the way I'm people like use it. Like, the way it's abused by like companies and stuff to be like, oh, instead of making a good character, we'll just make it a waifu. That's the part that like makes me not like waifus that much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah goddamn corporate <laughs> marketing shills. Goddamn corporate waifu is ruining anime. <laughs> uh, just Zeku, I blame you. Call, calling out Mother's Basement, let's go. Let's call out Mother's Basement. <laughs> starting the drama episode one. Just one question. Do you guys think that uh, the connection you have with waifus, does it need to be necessarily sexual? Or can it just be emotional? Mm. I think it could be emotional. Both. Sexual, you know, Both. Both. Like, I, I, it depends mm. on the wife. Here. We should do a best, best girl cast and then I'll get into philosophy. <laughs> Jeez. Because Utena is a best see, girl. See not a wife. <laughs> yeah, she dresses like a boy. She can't be a wife. Get, Shut get up, out. vamp. I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you real life. I'm gonna fly over to America and fucking fight you. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> One I want to see that. Alright. I... I think we should start. I think we're all in this, like, same wavelength. So, um... How should we do this? Because I know me and uh, Master Art have, um... You know, like, full, like, lists of white boos. Like, ten. Um, so, who, who should... Go I, first. People with the shorter lists, or I've also I in there. I've got them uh, wife list. Uh, I mean, we can a, start with like, like have... we can start from common ground, like Ava. Like, th- there's good ground to be explored there. Ooh. <laughs> or, yeah. or even Monogatari or something like that. Fucking Monogatari is gay. Kill him. Of course it is. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> I had to limit it to oh, 10, yeah. so I threw out all my Ava and Monogatari cast. Should I start? Because I probably have like two or three me- meme ones. I've got yeah, go ahead. Okay. 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 okay, I'll start. So, my first waifu is, um, uh, um, is um, Lucy from Elfin Lee. Mainly because I kind of... Uh, I've watched it again and I don't like it whatsoever. But in the past, I uh, really liked her. I thought the show was super deep and edgy. I was like, yeah, this is good. And I really I really liked it when she went to a like a psychotic mode or normal mode. Like that show is like incredibly like uh, mean to her and it makes you want to hug and protect her. Which I think is uh I think about about white foods. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know ninety percent any, protect, ten uh... percent fuck. <laughs> yes. She's good because she has a hard face where she's where you know you can do things to her and she'll just let you. 
that happens in the show, by the way. Some guy like touches her breast and she's like, yeah, I like that, do it more. And then she has a psycho with more breast, she's like, step on you. What more could you want? Oh, God. Does she oh, at some point? <laughs> I, I'm trying really hard to find something to say. I wanted to go first because I knew I wouldn't have much. Um, yeah, Lucy, I really like her. Honestly, she's not one of mine, but like I can see the uh, the contrast in her different modes. Honestly, I like her psycho mode a lot. Yeah, I, I no, actually I, I like clearly don't like her retarded mode at all. It's just like I really don't. I see on she doesn't need any personality in that mode. Yeah, I don't like him. I'd say, I'd say, um, you see top three, three bigger boys host. I'd say, top three. <laughs> okay, so my next waifu is a uh, full meme option is uh, Earth Chan. She was a meme from like a year ago, back when uh, we were finding new things to fuck every month. It was there's a meme now that's like in 2016 we want to fuck cat girls, in 2017 we want to fuck this and. But back in that year, it was literally every month it was something you to fuck. So it was a good time. She never really got um what she deserved. What Balzai got now, she should have got, I think. There was never anything yeah. to debate about Earth Chan. There was some good art, but there wasn't, there wasn't like, like enough. The art died really quick. <clears throat> like, before even, like, I feel like the full week was done. And, like, Balzai is still getting art to this day. A little bit. A little bit. Mm. And I'm, like, still seeing, like good art being posted maybe because i'm just seeing it on twitter but i was still kind of on twitter back then too it's yeah, um uh, not no justice in this world yep the good wife was all get what about the other plan? i'm sorry what uh what about the other plants uh they were also a thing yeah they, some of them were good they like the difference was that a lot of them did it differently some of them had the sun be like a older woman some of them had to be like a doctor guy. You know, <laughs> there was a lot. Uh, there was um, some good ones, but never any great ones. Like Earth Chan was probably the best out of all of them, and even C didn't get that much. I think I have like ninety percent of the good Earth Chan art on my computer right now. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> uh, I think that's uh, all my wife was actually. Uh, okay, can I go Quick, 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 um, Scorn, how did you feel about Tide Pod, John? Eh, didn't like it. Eh, she's just fine, but like, eh. I don't yeah. know if I've seen the movie much to really like it all. I feel like she came too quickly after Earth Chan. Yeah, to really she have was like... Because there was, there was crossover in their, like, you know, appearances, but she was, like, a little shifted in the future. I don't see what oh, to I just realized, I just remembered the new one, um... Do you remember mm. that, uh, the comics about Microsoft uh, Edge? Yes, yes. Ones? Yes, yes. <laughs> that, that was a very good. Okay. She's another meme waifu. The internet comes up with actually some pretty good waifus, actually. I think I like them a lot more than actual, like, anime ones. <laughs> <laughs> nice, okay, nice. next person. So, it's time for me. Okay, so, my waifu is... No one knows her, her who she is, but she is... Uh, kiddo from Metaku City Actors or Kagefro, which you... is a... Could you post a picture? Excuse me? Could you post a picture? So that we know <laughs> the design. So basically, okay, I'm not a masochist, but uh, I love it when she hurts the main character, Con well, not the main character, but one, like, the supporting character Kano, and it kind of made me a masochist because now I like people to hurt me whenever I'm being a dumbass. And um, it's not that I get pleasure from it; it's just that. Um, mm -hmm. How do I say this? It's just that I like being a cheeky cunt and just knowing that I will get beat up for it. And I just look for someone like Kiddo that can just beat me to my place and just, just I just like being beat up. I like girl. being beat up. Need a girl who can beat your ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he needs one, honestly. <laughs> and also, she's kind Cheap of the silent check. type, so when, when, she's kind of the silent type, so whenever she just loses it, uh, it's kind of no, it's kind of weird to see that she's the silent type, but she can also be the aggressive, violent type. So she's kind of like the Yandere, but she isn't actually, she doesn't do that much violence. She just loves hurting 
the Kano when he's being a dick, and that's about it. She's usually other other times just shy or just a good mom. Would you say you see her as like, like in those actions, like as it being like filled with like good passion, or you or you just take full satisfaction in like seeing Kano get beat up? It's just that I I like being in Kano's shoes because I I actually like him as a character, and knowing that ah. he's just that dick and just because uh, they're canonically just stepsisters, a uh, step brother, so but. They're not blood related, so knowing that they have this chemistry with each other and that they hate each other even though they love each other is just it's it's heartwarming. Uh, and it's just, hmm. I love it. I love them. Um, Connor, and I love, uh, I love it. Yeah. So um, you uh you've been a bit vocal on your belief that uh, that one should only ever have one waifu, the one ch- waifu <laughs> policy, if you will. Can you uh, explain this? Because I know um was a Sims man was uh, very against this. Well, the thing is, I I'm very Catholic. Uh, I'm I believe in a God, yes, uh, and I believe that there should be only one wife or one waifu. And since I don't have a girlfriend right now, so that means that I should only have a waifu right now to just to be a bit just to have someone. And once I get a girlfriend, I can have say goodbye to my waifu, and there we go. Or just be a virgin forever with a waifu. So yeah. seems like you... it's it's the Miyazaki policy: yep. one waifu per movie. <laughs> oh yeah, I can appreciate that. Even in my list of ten, there's like only one true one. But we'll, we'll get into S- that. In same, a bit. same. And the main reason why I also love uh, Kiddo is because I've actually read the light novels, and she kind of has a bit more, she's a bit more detailed and just fleshed out uh, more than in the anime, so you kind of understand why she is like she is in the anime. So, yeah. And she goes through some traumatic shit and it just, it, you just know that when she beats up Kano, she just loves it because she can do something that she wanted to do for, for quite some time. Um, and Kano. she has some set up aggression. Kind of, um, uh, uh, what's your opinion on Lucy? I think you've seen that, Finley. What, what do you think of her? Yeah, and I hated it because I watched it dub. Yeah, because but, I, like her, uh, don't... just her. Because I see a lot of similarities okay, where so... she's like very like quiet. She isn't uh, as uh, violent because when she is a violent, you know, she kills people. So she isn't like violent towards the main character that much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not that I don't like those types of characters. It's just that Lucy isn't the type of character for me. It's just that I don't. I don't like psychotic bitches. I just love people that can beat me up. And I don't want someone who can kill me. I just want someone who can just put me to my foot. So that's the difference. And that's the major difference. Mm. Okay. 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 Who's next? Yeah, I want to go last. Uh, I guess I'll go up. I'll go, I'll go through these kind of quickly because I have a few here. None of them really true waifu, except maybe last one, which I'll get to. But um, we'll start with... And these are more, like, not really so much waifus, but just girls I really like from the shows. Anyway, um, so the stocking from Panji Stocking. Uh, That's good pretty choice. fucking good. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, good choice. obviously. It is great. It's great. He's sick. I've um, actually watched that, the that, series by Noah where, like, ends, I think. So uh, I know some stuff about her. She's yeah, very yeah. infamous ending. <laughs> very 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 good ending um but yeah i just love her character i love how she looks she the show's really fun plays around a lot really kinky that's that's pretty much it I, I, there's not really, really much depth to this but yeah, it's nice um second one would be yuki nagato more specifically from oh, the yeah. spin-off series spin-off series where she's the main character Oh, oh wow. that's so but, good. Oh. Like, like specifically that one is, I think, is even better. Maybe even Disappearance, uh, like the movie. Yeah, I, that, the, that I was, thought that Disappearance the was the best one in Disappearance, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those, those are good. You are seeing my wife. So much more character. <laughs> but you can have them. They're not, they're not, they're not, they're free for everyone. But anyway, um, yeah, she's, especially in the spin-off series, 
she just has so much more character. She's super cute, and she has all this existentialism stuff. It's just it's nice. I want to I want to hug her. I want to hug her forever. That's like everyone on this list. I just want to hug them forever. That's what makes them good waifus. I will cut oh, yeah. them to no end. In I remember in the anime series you're referencing, she like it's so cute. Yeah, like, it's like it's super mollified, if that's a word. <laughs> like the whole like an, even anime like the style is specifically yeah. like meant it's to very do that round, and... very round, yeah, and cute. I, I, don't, yeah, I, I, don't recommend it. I don't think it nails it as well as like some some Kyoto animation shows, but it nails it pretty well. The look. Yeah, I have I have to say something. Uh, Yuki Nagato is my he, he, you stole my wife. This was my. Uh, <laughs> Number one wife when you stole it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You, 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 I, I won't go too uh, much into it. Gano, no, I'll, I'll post that. an image for you. I'll post an image for you, Gano, one second. Not, not only that, but um, the disappearance of Yuki Nagato version is the worst version. Yeah, same, same, same. <laughs> Absolute same. I think disappearance yeah. is by far and away the best. And then second comes the first series, um, first the the second series and last uh, Yuki Nagato series. Yeah, well, yeah, we got a bunch of purists over different. here. <laughs> different opinion. All right, and oh, that one. <laughs> moving on, um, there is Princess Kaguya from the movie Fakada movie. That is the sale of the bamboo cutter. Yeah, that one. It's just. It's so pure. You get to see a girl from, like, literally before she was born. You get to see her conception, kind of, in a way. And then she just grows, and you want to see her smile, and you cry when she cries, and the ending is so sad. I just want to hug her again. <laughs> but um, the kicker is probably the most waifu waifu would be Nadako from the Monogatari. Just because she is probably the most one I would like to hug forever and ever, just because just how she acts is just so damn cute. I just like, I do not even want to fuck that. Just I just want to hug it. Like, literally. It's like, not a turn on in any way, but she's just she's just there and she's just so cute. Hmm. And no and one, that's uh, that's one even a meme in the that. second series. It's even so much of a meme in the second season. Yeah, yeah. Of one. Yeah, like, that's literally the point of the character. <laughs> Even the way that's explored, I just love it. So that's basically all for me. I'm not too much into waifuism. Have you seen the um, um, the last season of Owari Monogatari? No, I have not. Watch it because uh, there's a cameo of Nadeko in the last episode. It's great. If you want I to will. see the the whole character development, uh, you have to finish the Monogatari series. Well, they're making I more will, of it. They, they, they're gonna keep making it until it's, it's yeah, dead exactly. and they don't have any ideas still anymore. Coming. I think I think that passed the good parts now. I thought Owari Monogatari was... It was still a really good show, but it was um, not as good as the other ones, in my opinion. I think the, uh, that second season is the best. Yeah, same. Uh, yeah. But Owari Monogatari was really good. The second series of Warrior Monogatari, I felt, do- well, went downhill, yeah. The first episode was really strong, and after that it kind of went downhill. Uh, who's next? Um, Simsman, I think he is now. Okay, so, uh, Yuki's best girl, I've already said that. Uh, the Melancholy of Ari Suzumiya is my favorite uh, show of all time, uh, by far. Uh, I also like Ari, but uh, Yuki's the best. So I'm just gonna... Agreed. <laughs> uh, yeah, Haruhi is more fuckable, but Nagato is just the best. Yes, Ari is more fuckable, but Yuki is the cutest. Uh, I was 16 when I watched um, Harry for the first time. Relatable. I, <laughs> I watched uh, all the seasons and the movie in a weekend. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> we had the exact yeah. same experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I was 16 as that, well. Oh, not God. just that. I was going to... Oh, yeah, the same. 
I was going to have a geography test next week, next week <laughs> and I watched it all in the weekend. Uh, so that's the irresponsible uh, 16 year old me. Uh, wait. Um, uh, so, uh, about something you just said there, what's uh, more important to each of you? Fuckability or like cuteness? In your uh, wife's a a combination of both. I think. It's I, a I know, but like, of generally, part. what do you look for more? I, I think I'm it. more into um, cuteness. I think I'm more into coolness, actually. I, want, yeah, I think I want my wife just to be like cool. Yes, cool same. and cute. Yeah. You know, like. Uh, I look for something I specific. I need more strong, independent women. Okay, okay Keanu, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> Nagato <laughs> can be cute and uh, cool at the same time. Yeah. She's a versatile yeah. wife. Yeah, oh, oh, remember that, that time where she like fucking went to the, um, she, uh, I think it's in the first arc and like the, all the, um, the, the blades and shit went into her and she pulled yep. them all out and that was fucking amazing. Also, she, she likes to read. So Hell yeah. Someone. Hell yeah. I'm a read boy. I'm a book boy. Mm -hmm. You're a nerd. She likes Hell to yeah. read and she likes to play video games. So the okay. two biggest oh, yeah. bonus for a man's art. Mm -hmm. uh, so do you want to talk about Eva girls? Eva girls. Actually, wait, let's all just um, without any conversation say what our best are in like order, top to bottom again, alright? Oh god. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah. I think I am um, like um, Ray more than Oscar. Then, uh, but of course, uh. What's his name? The penguin. I forgot the penguin's name. That's top girl. Pen Pen. Yeah, Pen Pen. Pen Pen's top. Then um, Ray. Oh, going Oscar, now. Then Masuto. And then the other one. Okay. It's number one Ray, number two Masato, number three Asuka. Uh, um, Sorry, what was number one? Ray. Ah, okay. Number two Asuka. <laughs> yeah, number two Masato, number three Asuka. Uh, uh, Ray is also my number one. Uh, just because of the the episode when uh, Sh uh, Shinji saves her and she smiles. For oh the hell yeah! Time. That was so yes. satisfying. That was so satisfying. Kano muted us. That bastard. Um, he, he doesn't watch the but he doesn't want to until he's older. Saying. So he... uh, I, I, uh, I just want uh, to tell you one thing. Uh, that scene may be my favorite scene uh, in ever, because uh, I've seen the ever dubbed in Portuguese just for the lols. Uh, I, I have not seen all of it, I've just seen some parts. And that scene is so perfect, so perfect, that not even that shitty dub can ruin it. It's above the dub. Mm. Uh, <laughs> nothing can ruin it. Um, and Asuka sounds like a 48-year-old 48, 48 in that show. In the... Damn. Yeah, I, I watched Ava, like, English dub myself, which I'm sure was probably a little bit better than probably the Portuguese, but, um, yeah, I've been re-watching Ava in Japanese, and it's a lot better. Oh, Shinji's uh, voice actor in Japanese is so fucking, fucking amazing, in my I opinion. I think I originally oh. watched Ava soaked for, like, the first few episodes, but then I stopped. Um, then eventually, um, um can we, I can we stop, 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 oh, wait, no, he's back, never mind. Um, and then okay. uh, I think uh, I think it was Monkey Jones made a video with the series where he just watched Ava. At one point, when I was watching, he mentioned that you know that kid who punched Sinji and uh, and then became his friend afterwards. He mentioned that he sounds like Endless Jess. So I had to watch <laughs> someone. I was like, holy shit, he sounds like Endless Jess. And I watched the entire series just because of that, because he entertained me greatly. That he just sounded like him. And that's the only reason I've watched Ava. Really. Yeah, Cause, cause Hell, yeah. Just not me. because of all the praise, not because of the fact that it's one of the best anime of all time. It is. I'm not. I'm not denying that. I'm just saying the one reason I want to say was because that. It's an interesting reason, honestly. Uh, I just uh, I wanted just... to talk about Ava because Ray uh, was on my list. Uh, I've also have some of the Monogatari girls. Uh, I have Camber, <clears throat> uh, Camber and Anakawa. I don't think I have uh, much to say about them, just that they are cool. 
uh, let me search for some pictures. Yeah, I know I didn't mention this, but I do prefer Ray over um, Oscar. Everyone does in this podcast, apparently. <laughs> the apparently first time I'm majority. Did you? And, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Anekawa. Uh, Anekawa. Uh, I prefer the movie version, the Kizumonogatari version. Oh, oh, just yeah. because she's so cutely animated. Uh, I, I think it, uh, she's an inferior character in that movie, but she's so fucking cute. Uh, let me see if I find some pictures. Only if... fuck. Wherever. You all seen that movie. You all know what I'm talking about. It wouldn't upload. God damn it. That's a cute picture. The smug. Yeah. Uh, and the cat also, now. Um, I've already talked about this one uh, with you guys uh, yesterday, but Yutana, Yutana is so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I've seen Yutana very recently. Uh, let me tell the story. Uh, I was ill uh, for five days, uh, and in those five days, I just marathoned the whole series. And movie. And movie, of course. Uh, I don't think Utna is all that attractive in the series, but then you get in the movie, she has short hair, she has the hat, and she's so fucking sexy. Oh hell yeah! I, lo I love the um, the scene where in, in, in the duel where her hair like grows out and stuff happens, and that the dueling scenes in the movies are like the fucking best. Yep. Um, uh, what if it wasn't for the movie, I I would not put her in the list, but. The movie is X, so here she is. Uh, what more? Also, Ritu is best Kion. What? I was I was, I was saying that Ritsu is best Kion. Mm. Uh, if you we girls have anything to, to say about the Kion girl, say it now. Leo is the best. Um, um, definitively. I'm surrounded by heretics. No, um, but I'm the server to the ground. Azusa is the best, by far. How can everyone be wrong? How? I am most wrong. I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen it. Well, oh, um, relevant apparently also put Kudal from uh, Kudal Phantom Memory. On yeah, his list. she's great. I love her. Yeah. <laughs> she's she, she's a great mom, and. She kills everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same for the why the Kayons are so... Oi, Kayons back. <laughs> or not. She's muted yet. She. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Kano is a she now. It's official. It's canon. Sorry. Sorry. Kano is a she now. Nothing gonna, nothing wrong with that. You just addressed <laughs> her in the correct way. Come on. Fuck. Come on. I don't know Kayon, so I can I hear her. So... Let, let me just say why Kion, why the Kayons are so great. Uh, there's the show. In the show, they are fucking cute, as everyone who's watched it knows. But then there's the eddies of the the show. Uh, in the eddies, oh, yeah. the eddies are so fucking great. Uh, they are no longer cute. They become sexy. They become powerful. They become. <laughs> Uh, if you have not watched Kion, at least uh, go watch the Eddies. Yeah, that, I want to go watch the ending now. Yeah, they're so um, they're so good. They're so good. I love them. Um, uh, I, I know we stopped talking about Ev uh, even getting a bit ago, but um, what were all our top picks? I was Ray. Are we Ray or Os Oscar? Ray. Ray. We are all Ray boys. Ray. We all have good taste. I'll let you off for your opinions on um, Kion just for that. When I when I first watched Ava, I was Asuka, but then after rewatch, I I've turned to Ray. Say... So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I, now. I, really, I really like the Ray story of like um you know self discovery, understanding uh the boss he is, and then taking her like fate into her own hands. Also, I watched um Evangelion on my 16th birthday. Uh, the end of Evangelion, yeah, however, which is it was around one of my birthdays, which is pretty interesting. Because I had nothing to do that day. I'm um, sorry, what did you say? Nothing. 
Never mind, it's not important. Uh, go on to uh, somehow you have anything left, or uh, am I up, or what's, what's going on? Uh, Ritsuko Nagi is underrated. <laughs> uh, Ritsuko is the best one because she's she's not funny, but uh, she has a funny personality. Let's just say that. <laughs> Uh, she reminds me of myself when I was like eight years old, uh, but now I'm a boring man. Um, have you guys uh, played Katawa Chojo? I've seen oh, it. Some of it. I don't um, play visual yeah, novels. Game, right? I'd, lo- I'd rather read a fucking book than play a visual novel. Uh, the Crippled Girls. Uh, oh, novel. The Crippled Girls are so good. I wish I actually the- like finished it. They are best waifus, uh, and I have not oh. one, not two, but three waifus on my list for this game. Oh so, god. That's how good it is. Uh, the first one uh, is uh, Anako. Uh, she's fucking cute. Uh, she's the cute one. She's the one who got a scar in the face. Uh, she's She basically suffers from anxiety. And... Yes. Uh, uh, she's just cute. Uh, some people find her relatable because of her anxiety. Uh, well, uh, there's also Lily. Uh, Lily is blind, and she's a big Catholic girl. Uh, she's a, a big woman. She's a mother, basically. Oh yeah. Uh, Her first scene was pretty good. So. The uh, the cool thing about Lily is that she's a big Catholic girl, but when it comes to sex, she's the wildest of them all. Uh, go, I mean, kind of spoiling indeed, but go play it. Uh, and she and uh, Anako are bi- really big friends. Uh, and then there's best girl, Rin Tezuka, named after Tezuka himself, obviously. Uh, Tezuka. Tezuka. <laughs> I'm gonna the fuck? play it now. I'm gonna play it now because Tezuka is a fucking waifu. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Tezuka, uh, the creator of Metropolis and Astro Boy, as well as like millions okay. of other things and limited animation, whatever. He's an okay, important so, dude. So, uh, Rin is a great artist named after a great artist, but she has a problem. She does not have any arms. She does it with her feet. It's, she it's does the greatest thing ever. Everything. Literally. And uh, uh, she's basically a DJ bro. She has uh, very messy thoughts and she does not know how to express them. So she thinks she must express them with her heart. Uh, I'm not going to spoil uh, her story arc because she, uh, she has the best arc in the um, in the game. Uh, go play it. Uh, her route is by far the best one. Uh, she's just great. So what do we do now? I just um, uh, I just have one last wife. Uh, this sure. this one is more of a, a meme. Go wife, ahead. But I I want to post it anyway. Uh, do you guys play League of Legends? Yes. Um, what you do? How many of you play it? Uh, I I have, play. I've played two hours <laughs> yeah, and I ago. fucking hated it and it's the worst game ever and games should die. <laughs> Let's we just agree wants. that Lux is by far the cutest character in that game. And I'm going no, to post no, the picture of her. Normie. Normie. I like oh, I no. Love it. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Rainbows. Okay, let me just say no, one thing. No, no. Uh, Choga. League of Choga League... is the true waifu. League of Legends Wait. is a very old game. Uh, I've played it since season two, season three, more or less. And Lux is one of the oldest champions, so she's basically the oldest waifu in the game. <laughs> she's been with me for the longest time. Hmm. I'll uh, I'll really listen to what you said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a professional. Also, I did mute myself though, on OBS at least, so you know. Uh, also, there's this uh, streamer, oh, shit. Player named Lily P. 
who means looks she's a, she has a very cute voice there's also that <laughs> I just broke a glass too, I can chug off it's like 10 <laughs> chug at this oh. he has, his ultima is literally him eating it's literally he goes nom 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 it's literally my favorite character she smiled to the right he's is, is it your waifu? Is that where yeah. your waifu? Yeah, fuck it, let's go. This is my waifu. It's uh... <laughs> it'll my be on your list. She's from everything. What about this one? This is a new one. This is, his name is Zoe. Yeah. He's 1,000 years old. Ravioli, ravioli, don't do the lolly <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's too good. Uh, uh Samal, are you done? I'm done. Oh, irrelevant. Fucking learning something. Uh, is it important? Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, mm, hell yes. yes. Okay. Yep. No pain, no gain. Baby. Vi is also a good waifu. Vi is best. Should I just <laughs> upload the Discord chat? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Just screen capturing. Yeah, no, it is screen capturing, and it's just screen capturing one yeah, just, corner um, of my Have it screen. zoomed in. Yeah. About, or yeah. something on it. About League of Legends, I actually think my actual wife from that game is probably Jinx. I've literally never played her in the game. Yeah, Jinx, she's, Jinx she's is good. Yeah. She Jinx is yeah, this is my wife. This is my wife right here. Before the uh, kiddo, this is my wife right here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to say that right. the reward... She's actually hundreds of years old. And an ancient fairy creature. I, I'm just going to say that the, the reworked Poppy is an ironically cute... Uh, let me just find a picture of her. I mean, the thing is, she still fits the same criteria because she charges you into a wall and she just fucks you. So, same thing, really. I'm actually a Poppy mind, so... Uh, me, me as well. Well, used to be. Tell me that she's not cute in this picture. Alright, my list! <laughs> <laughs> First of all... <laughs> um, Tsukikage Yuri or Cure Moonlight from Hard Catch Precure. She's cute. I like, I like her glasses. Um, and I like her hair, how it flows, uh, especially in that picture of her uh, watering the plants. Uh, and I think she's hot, and that's it. Um, pretty much. Like, uh, her body's great. Yeah, she seems like, like, in a way, like, tropey, but, like, so good. Yeah, this is, her design is phenomenal. She she is kind of tropey, the character, but it, it's handled very well in the series. But, like, I, 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 I just really like her character design. I really like this outfit of her. It's so cute. And I love it. <laughs> Um, yeah. Um, next up, uh, let's, uh, hmm. um, fucking Midori from, uh, what's it called? Shiro Bako, Midori from Shiro Bako. Uh, I like, I like her desire to really, like, push onwards and fucking do catch up to her dreams and do the shit she wants to do and like her fucking outfit sounds especially with the red outfit and her tracksuit is so fucking cute and I love it and it's it's great and it's uh yeah and the glasses it's, it's cute it's really cute next up the one you were all expecting probably or at least uh, one of you was Nodo from Die Buster hey. hell yeah She's the cutest, and the hottest, and the best. She is the nude girl. She is the best. Well, Lark is pretty hot. Though. What? Lark. Ah, uh, yeah. Lark's good. Lark's, like, I like Lark as a character more, but as a waifu? No, no, it's a better waifu. No, no, it's a better waifu. I agree with you. Like, Lark is my favorite character, but no, no, it's the best waifu. Yes! Uh, right. Okay, next up, we've had three now, I believe. Yeah, three. Next up, K from Akira. Um, hell yeah. 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 Why? 
because she she's hot and she can fucking f- gunfight and she no jumps and shit. Is hot. I think she's hot. They're all ugly. I I disagree. <laughs> have you only seen the movie or have you read the the manga? The designs in the manga are kind of different. So I've only seen the movie. Yeah. Okay. This one is from the manga, yeah. and this one's specifically because of the manga, and, and I think she's hot yeah. and cute, and like the shit she does is insane and great, and I love it. Uh, next up, kind of a standard pick, but um, Yukino Miyazawa from Karekano. Yeah. She is the best. She is the funniest. Uh, uh, she's the smartest and the funniest, and she figures everything out. And like, I like like her little realization throughout the show, just like, oh wait, that's stupid. Or oh wait, I should have done that years ago. And that's, I really relate to that. Uh, plus, she's super hot. I really like her outfits and her tracksuit and like the school outfit and like the the the, the what do you call it? The um, uh, the, the middle picture thing around her head. And um, her hair is really cute, like with the bangs, um, and she animates really hot, in my opinion. Uh, yeah, how much of this ha- anime takes part in like the winner? Because I've never seen it. Uh, I think an episode or two. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I was hoping it would be super wintry and like cozy yeah, and like, it's not. oh, I love winter uh, fashion. Oh, those cars, that's getting me real turned on. Uh, next up. Um, fucking Rika, fr- uh, no, no, yeah, Rita from um, Golgo 13 The Professional. She's hot. She, she, she's hot. She's That's really, really hot. And she's a mechanic and she knows how to make guns. And I find that hot. Next up, um, Fucking Sakura from Urusei Yatsura. Uh, she, um, I like um, her fashion sense is really strong in the show. She's a school do- uh, doctor and she also does like ghost stuff. And I like how she's like really independent and like kicks the main character's ass and like fucking fights people. And uh, she's hot. As well, I really like her hair, her, like blue hair, and her face is perfect, my body is perfect. Yeah, is she a psychic? No, no, she, 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 she's a ghost. She's a, like oh. a, a, a shrine maiden, essentially. Hell yeah. How many... I should, there's so many reasons to check out that show, and she's going to be definitely one of them. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't... That wasn't me counting how many I've been through. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's why I only have one. Um, sure. I have uh, them. <laughs> Yuri, no, no, Yuri, I can. Uh, the can more I... the merrier. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm gonna go with Raki from. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Reki from Haibane Renway, she smokes. And uh, her Could personal be. crisis is something I, I relate to, and her fashion sense is something I relate to, and I just really like seeing her, and like fucking seeing her move in Haibane Renway, and like I just, just um... talking and shit, and her fashion sense, and her hair, it's, it's perfect, she's perfect. Um, what are your guys' opinions on smoking? Do they make a Hot, 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 Of course you would, Kano. Kano, you're a fucking Puritan. I, I just remember the new the one. Yeah, it's from uh, anime. You, yeah. It was me who said that smoking was gay. I mean, it's fucking you gay. Just so, no, Kano, you're gay. You're gay. You're gay. You're gay. Um. But I just thought of another waifu because you mentioned smoking. is uh is not from anime. It's from a game, but it's with a um anime style. It's um Jill from uh Van ha- Van Hella Hella Hella. Hella. Mm. I can't say the word, but she she's really good. She's um I love um she's basically everything I love. She has twin tails. She smokes. She drinks. She um she's wearing a a suit. Everything about her is great. Oh, is it like a bot in the one? Ah, so, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Something yeah. else I like about uh, Raki is just I've like all my how she um kind of like isn't isn't like is is incredibly hesitant to tell the truth about some things about herself, and I really relate to that. I'm like I can uh, respect her like coming over that, and uh, I think that makes her harder. Yeah. Uh, the ga- the game was good. Second to last one. <laughs> Shinobu from UDC Yatsura. She's a tomboy. And she's super hot. And especially this Ooh. one. Especially in like this episode. And some of the episodes uh, focus around her. And those are always the best. Because they have fan service. And it's just it's just really hot. Tomboys like, are the best. Yeah, she's a tomboy. And she uh, can kick everyone's ass. She can <laughs> fucking... She, uh, she literally, I think, punched a table through a window. In one episode. <laughs> Oh, Several times in one episode, and she's like punched people through buildings, and yeah, hell yeah, um, yeah, and that's basically why. That's 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 literally why. Her, um, her fashion sense kind is, is okay. Her hair is pretty good. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. On to yeah, top waifu, the best waifu, the only waifu. Hell yeah. Um, Hiromi Oka from In For The Ace, the TV show, as well as the movie. Okay. I have a bunch of screen caps here. I... Yeah, the quality. Huh? Quality. Yes, yes. Especially the ones in pajamas. Yes, absolutely. She um, is... I like her... Uh, she is like the, the original like um, fucking trigger girl, kind of. She's like, or like, like Gainax, whatever. Noriko is based of her, of Gunbuster. And like, no, no, builds on that and shit. Um, that's another, for another time. I, I really, she's just, she's really hot. And I really like just her, like, passionate fucking, like, the passionate cries to just get better and then get faster and just do more. Just become stronger, become the best. Maybe I can't become the best, but I need to. <laughs> I need to. And like uh, in the movie, she's really hot as well, and she has a great fashion sense, and uh, her hair is pretty cute. And then that's basically my my wife. Yeah. Me yeah, I, I just have one question for Art. Yeah. Uh, do you think that the girls from Ojemaju Doremi can be? Can be. If they can. No. <laughs> no, those aren't wifes. No. <laughs> no. Uh. No, but they are cute. They are cute. Yeah, in a tracksuit. I forgot to upload this one, but this one is also one of my just, just, just. I like tracksuits and pajamas. I like wearing tracksuits, and pajamas. I'm a fucking weirdo. Kill me. Um, You're gonna be uh, sent to another world at some point. Uh, hell yeah, and and, and then, yeah, it's just she's just super hot, and I, I really like. I realized this whilst uh, searching through for um, what do you call um screenshots of Anne for the years uh, and that is uh, especially in the movie because I wanted to pick the movie because she's harder in the movie than the TV show uh, the movie is incredibly in, like incredibly well directed it might be like from just going through it flipping through it my favorite like the Zaki directed thing ever because it's it's just oh my god uh, watch it <laughs> okay vamp your last uh, um, actually, I've, I've thought of more waifus I have. Oh, God damn it, it's gone. I owe you more. God fucking damn it. Okay, okay, so let's go to my favorite anime ever of whatever year it was. Um, Carbonelli of the Iron Fortress, or Attack on Trains. Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's go. Let's go first proper meme, but actually kind of serious answer. Muscle Girl. I don't remember her name, but she's fucking hot, alright? She's good. The other one is... I like big girls. Yeah, uh, I think they're way underrated. Uh, they are not. People love them. You I have, have I have some thick girls. Yeah, the other one is a uh, Mew Mew Mew, Mew or whatever her name is. That one. I'm trying to find the gif of her right now, but I can't. It's the one where she's like um, uh, she has that. What was it now? The thing you do with parties where you blow it. But she, she's adorable. She's the full cuteness. Right, look at that. She's strong as well. I don't know if it's loaded for me. 
But yeah, uh, Yumi's my full cuteness waifu. She's really good. Ahada is my profile for a little bit. She's definitely good. Um, yes, I, I think the muscle girl actually woke me up to a face. I didn't know I had until then. So yeah, that's the first. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, the first it. is always yeah, special. special. Mm. I think that's it for me. Go on, Vamp. Uh, all right. I'm going to try to, um, you know, blast through this. Um, first, we got um, Eureka from Eureka 7. She's really great. I like her. And um, what's so great about her is that, like, she, like, I, uh, she's very, like, naive but like no has been through shit all at the same time right it's like a very mysterious vibe Dude, i have I like really finished. like finished i also like really like women who like kill people that's really cool uh, i haven't <laughs> i haven't finished your deck of seven but like i don't think she's naive i just think she, i'm not really i think she kind of any acts actions like or it. anything like I think she but, acts um, like it. Ranter sees Ranten, rather, sees her as naive, but her actions and like when you logically think about it, rewatching it and knowing I, what she's been through, it's it's completely logical. Logical. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, but there's like uh, when I when I mean naive, what I really mean is like um, there's a sort of like ignorance of the world. Um, there's no like false expectations, like there would be like in naivety. So you're definitely right. Um, Mostly her design is like, um, I think one of the best yeah. ever. Yeah. Like hair, everything. Like yeah, I do, just. So I've never perfect. seen a, the anime, but her design is really good. So right, even adult hair, um, yeah, it's, it's she really good. is pretty good. Right. So, um, next up we have, uh, this is kind of a meme one, um, because I thought there was gonna be like more meme ones though there was a decent amount oh she is best mom oh yeah um uh, Rekka. but um this meme one that i have for number nine on my list is uh katherine temp she's a real person um she <laughs> <laughs> like brings her fox <laughs> god damn it vamp now um, i'm gonna have to put a photoshop it. filter over her so she looks like an anime libertarian girl. um <laughs> Of course. She vapes, and I think she's pretty funny. Uh, her podcast is actually really good, and I think it wouldn't even really appeal to quote-unquote conservatives um, like that much at all. Um, underrated? Uh, again? Pretty good. Catherine Timph. I'll do right Timph. Okay, uh, I'll put it in, but... um. Uh, her podcast um is like only 40 episodes, and she does like a lot of interviews with people so i'd recommend like just consume that content and anything else if anyone's interested ever um, <laughs> yeah so next up we got um reina from ceo oh, yeah how was ao <laughs> I'm a special kid, and I was one of my favorite shows. Just saying. Are you like <laughs> Ava? Are you are you a special kid? Uh, is it, it, it's dumb. Continue. <laughs> uh, sometimes um, she's she can be really funny though. So Rena from Grisaya Phantom Trigger. It's not even an anime yet. It has one, you know, for 2019. Uh, the visual novel is pretty good for Grisaya Phantom Trigger. Um, she's pretty fucking awesome. What I like about her is that she's like a version of my I idealism that's actually like realized, though she is a fictional character. Uh, and what I mean by this is that like there was a time where I was like really obsessed with like you know, if I could just dedicate myself to one person, just be like really like like a badass, but like make them and their goals realized, like that'd be enough. And she's basically this character. She's like this dude's knight in the third picture, um, basically. And she like does all the you know, it's a military show slash series where they're like 
you know, these kids are contract high schooler kids contract to like go on like sort of hitman ish missions and black. stuff like that. <laughs> um, it's not that edgy. Um, it like de- actually like deals with like a lot of Gris- the whole Grizzly series deals with like a lot of emotional trauma and, and stuff like that. Like that's like the whole gimmick. Um, which is really nice, and she's like specific. This she's been conditioned. This character conditioned to in a facility, like basically child soldiers and stuff, mm. it, to like basically serve a master and like you know actually care about them and not just be like taking orders to take orders. And she's like actually in love with this guy. So it, I, I think it sounds it's stupid, like, but it's like going it's... slinger girls without the lollies. That's okay, yeah. about Gunslinger Girl, right? The last three volumes are legitimately my favorite manga of all time. How goes your work on the AMV? Um, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be done. So it, it'll I'm it'll be saying, done when it's I'm done. Asking. It'll be done when it's I'm done. Just curious, just curious. Well, about, about Vamp, about your idea of what you said when you said that he's like... um. That idea that a lot of I think young people get, especially people who watch anime, that like if they can dedicate themselves to like one person or one thing, that they can be happy with it and they can like be really badass about it. I, I definitely relate. I, I mean, don't know if any of you, else you did, yeah, don't get it's very like, um, I, I want to make this clear that's like a, a sort of like, uh, if you played Fire Emblem, it's very like be like being a retainer to you know a royal or something, like you're just like there to make their will happen, keep them safe, and things like that. Um, it's very much in that vein. But you described it very well, as well as uh, Scorn. I think I probably just, like, copied Digi Bro or something when he talked about Gunslinger Girls. Um, like, it's definitely yeah. that. Yeah, but he hasn't there. finished it, so... Definitely. Um, um, yeah. I've only watched uh, one episode of Gunslinger Girl. I've watched none of it. Yeah. Literally only it starts off kind of slow, but it gets, like... I thought oh. the the first episode is actually like yeah, the first really episode. grabbing. Yeah, yeah, the first episode is, but after that it gets kind of slow. It's interesting. It builds mystery, and then, um, and then it kind of builds off after volume five, and then it builds up to one of the most satisfying climaxes to any story ever made. All right. Anything? Any uh, anything else on that subject? No. no. Okay. I think we can continue with your list. Um. All right, for number, uh, I was about to skip to six, my bad. Oof, that was a big oof on my part. I was about to upload some pictures that I shouldn't have. Um, for seven, <laughs> we have uh, Chifuyu Orimori. Uh, fuck, I can't say that. But um, Orimura um, from Infinite Stratos. She's classic. Um, she is the big sister of the main character, dude. And she's just like... The best, like, badass older, like, female who has, like, an amazing sense of style. And every, like, she um, Hell yeah. runs basically as, like, badass, the main, like, badass teacher uh, or whatever of this school that's sort of in the future. Um, and she, like, everyone loves her. Everyone. She's just, like, so in on what all, like, the shady shit that's happening and she's just like a school's like principal or something, because um what what in the show is that there's like infinite uh, there's like exoskeletons that the kids can use, and they're legally and you know all that is just they're meant to be used for sports and that's it you know for comp like competitions and no like military usage, but you know obviously like you know bad guys get their hands on some of it. And that's a fun time. The um, only thing that can stop a bad guy with a mecha is a good guy with a mecha. Basically. And, it, you know, she this character is very connected to a lot of the other characters of the series. So it really does make her, like, invaluable when you watch the show. And uh, Infinite Stratos is one of my favorite anime. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten one of the best harem. Um, five. I mean, six. We'll get to five in a second. Uh, <laughs> um, six is China from The Spirit of Wonder. It is a nice old anime. It's... That dress, though, that's fucking amazing. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. That poster is, like, 
top tier. Um, China owns her own little uh, uh, like hub, basically, um, in Wales, England. And she's a cool girl because, um, you know, her parents, you know, came here and she was with them. And so she was raised in this place and knows how to like, you know, make the alcohols and stuff. And she's like a drinking girl and she like gets drunk on some nights and it's, she's just so waifu material. Um, personally, I don't drink, but any like a uh, girl that like, um, is a bartender or works at a bar is like, yeah, g- good turn on for me. <laughs> oh yeah. And China beats up, uh, like too drunk, you know, <laughs> customers like if they're this having like a fight weird. with each other this she'll just like time. end it by beating both their asses that's good that's bad <laughs> is this a wrestler <laughs> very interesting uh i'll downvote that oh, yeah. with the thumbs uh, um but spirit called- wonder <laughs> it's a great little ova uh i'd recommend everyone watch it um to really experience China because there's like a lot of like nostalgia she has uh, about like foreign country and stuff that comes up and you actually get to feel it with her even if you're not from her country uh, her place of origin stuff it's very like sweet I would say the story with her Mm. Um, from what country was she from? Um, I believe China (laughs) China is from China. China is from China. And uh, it's called Spirit of Wonder because the alcohol that her people, her parents make and that she makes is um, such a, like, a new flavor to them, a new like taste to them, that the, all the like uh, customers call it the Spirit of Wonder. That's where the name comes from. Okay. When I search uh, Spirit of Wonder in Mal, there are not just one. There's one? The, uh, the oldest one is from 1992. 1992, yeah. yeah it is a 90s OVA. Uh, Vamp told me yeah. about this a couple of weeks ago. And, uh, it's on my plan to watch. Um, but, you know, you know how, how I am with my plan to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I mean, get back to it within 15 months. And you can get to it whenever. And I'm not planning to go anywhere, so I'm sure we'll have a conversation about it at some point. Yeah. There's really no rush, but um, I do think anyone who watches this video and has made it this far, do yourself the favor of watching this. Do it. You have to. Do yourself the favor you of it watching yourself. the M for the A's movie. And then have oh, yeah. an existential crisis after flipping through it about how this might be one of the best directed anime of all time. <laughs> Full crisis. Five. Five on my list. This is, I think this is going to go a little bit quicker now. Um, Who? Ichika Orimori. Orimura. My bad. So this is the, the main character dude. The little brother of uh, Chifuyu. And he's really cool because he's just one of the best characters ever. He's a wife. He is a wife. He is a wife. He doesn't have a vagina. He doesn't have a vagina. How can he be a wife? No. <laughs> but um, he he, there's a Russian girl in the anime. Um, I think German actually, that um, basically just calls him her wife. Like, and it's really hilarious. Um, but he's like the most one, of the most like honestly like funnily like naive characters or like dense characters to the point that it's just hilarious like infinite straight uh, is just a parody it's, i think it's, uh, Kano is probably my favorite dense character <laughs> <laughs> which one perfectly Kano. he's di- he's incomparably dense and like um naive yeah i i agree uh, he works as well apparently he's living in anime now so I think we can classify him as a waifu. I have a hammer yeah, too. Yes. This is the start. So, yeah, Ichika's great. He's he's what makes uh, you know, Infinite Stratos one of the best things. <laughs> Give me Patreon bucks for that pick. <laughs> nice art. 
Master Art. You fucking... <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat that up. <laughs> Kill me. I dare you. <laughs> Alright, so... Just one of them bumps bits. <laughs> no! Bumps never existed. <laughs> it's going up on his channel, but we'll edit him out completely. <laughs> you gotta hide, hide it. Oh, um, so I, I love this. I love the show. I love the show. She's the yeah, best. She's the best. One of the good A one shows. She has the best um, body as well. Hell yeah. Yes. So this is better even than the K on Rio. Um, this is it's the same guy designer. Yeah. But fuck them, you know? One's better than the other. Yeah, no, no, it's the same guy, Luzan. I do like this one more than the K-On Girls, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Um, what I really like is that, about her, this one, uh, I mean, obviously is her, like, character design. But other than that, um, other than, you know, petty visuals, lel, um, I like her arc in the anime. It's a nice little 12-episode anime. And I remember at, at the sort of, like, second end, like you could really see her in like in the background like thinking about stuff and like the situation she's in as we like slowly realize yeah. what situ what situation she's in and it really feels like she's like becoming an adult even though she seems pretty mature to the series already but she is like the whole idea of the series is uh these girls are out like in a fort in this like small like town area and they like are basically like put in like a place that they would never be attacked by and so they're just there to just be there and not do anything really um so they're like like you know just useless basically like no one the military doesn't want to use them and so <laughs> and so um she like you know, all this, like, you know, stuff comes up. It's, it's not so good. I don't want to get too into it and all the plot reasons. Um, yeah, irrelevant. You're well, not my okay, wife, um, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I can be. <laughs> um, anyway, um, basically the two are Hajime Ishinose from Gatchaman Crowds, which I'm oh, hell yeah. of now. Yes, Hajime. So good. She is the most peppy person like in any anime yes. ever she's like the most upbeat girl and and she's not like oblivious dumb like it might seem she's that smart way first, she's really smart but but yeah she's like the smartest character in the whole show no you, you get to see that she does think fucking deep she, she actually like goes through turmoil but she's just so happy about it she's amazing and she also has them them titties oh, so that's yeah. also a good point <laughs> it has <laughs> it has perfect thing. to be honest I really like the, the, yeah. the clipping in the hair there. Yeah. From the, what happened in the girl? The, 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 um, the, um, crowds. the birth, whatever you call it. And this next one is from Manga Biscuit Hammer. I can't really find a good image on Google quickly because uh, it's fucking manga and there's no anime adaptation. But she's basically an anime fan. She cosplays. She tries to get attention of main character. She gets rejected. It's kind of sad. You feel for her. And then, um, whatchamacallit, she can also kick his ass. Like, she beats him, like, once or twice, I think. <laughs> so that was pretty fun. And she's also a snake girl. Hell. So anime, yeah. snack, really, like, embar embarrassed, kind of shy girl. It was nice. Alright. We can go to yeah, part she two. She looks like a cutie. Mm. Cheers. Ooh. Hell, um, oh yeah, I, I, I talked about Rio. Um, so, this, um, this next one is number three, and this is Chitose from <laughs> Girlish Number. She, let, I'm going to be honest, one of the best things about her is just how expressive she is. This is my main reason for liking her, but, like, there's so many GIFs and images and stuff that I can just, like, throw into any situation and then be fairly relevant. Yeah, I have that with God Cap to Sakura. Relevant. 
Oh my gosh. Um, and so, um, what's even more about Chitose? We're getting, since we're in my top three, it's it's becoming more resonant and more deep. Um, <laughs> and with her, she's Jeez, just about to the bottom. Yeah, it stops uh, starts from the bottom. Um, oh, yeah. Chitose is just me. <laughs> and I am Chitose. And oh, Chitose is a character who I would describe oh. as very, like, like, she has a big ego, but she does not deserve it at all. She's lazy, and That's she doesn't really do bottom. what she needs to to get you know, where she needs to go. She basically, she's a piece of shit, and the only thing that makes her likable is that she's a female and is cute. Um, <laughs> yep. Yep. Like, I have no redeeming quality. <laughs> just kill me. Just, Same. Just, I still need to watch it, though. It's a good. It's a good. Um, little 12, just 12 uh, episodes. Um, really great. Yeah. Now I, I definitely do want to make like some like blog post about her and how is like there, I'm just her in the future. Is there any deep reason for why she has such a big ego like Asuka? Um nope. Nope. That's just her. She's just like a like you know, narcissist uh like she's a she's just a Yeah. She's there's literally like a gif I have, I don't know if I put it here, where she's just on her phone like typing and that's just like she's like super like into social media and like like getting fame and stuff like she's such a piece of shit like (laughs) fucking kill her (laughs) but i love her so much Um, definitely probably i would if i met her in real life i'd i would like her i'd like see the faults but i would like her you know that kind of thing all right. So those are the best wives, the one you you forgive the fault. Mm-hmm. Um, for the second one here, for number two, I should say, um, Selkie from Fire Emblem Fates. This is from a video game. Um, is Japanese animated though, and she's like the most cute girl ever. Oh, you posted she... the post. She's really good. A really great design. Yeah, it's like, of course, in the in the game, they like make you can let you have kids if you like bond characters together, and like her father's a fox guy, and I never cared about him, and so like I have to go out of my way just to like get him, to you know, you know, the the princess with with red hair to get the good you know color scheme going on. Just to make her happen. It's worth it every time. I played 350 hours of Fire Emblem Fates. And it's worth it because of this character. She is the mo- She just wants to have fun. That's her whole character is that she's an animal. She wants to have fun. She wants to. She has so much energy. And she's like the best. Like, I know I'm just saying like, oh, it's the best. It's the best. But uh, you got to really experience the media to really appreciate the character. I think a lot of times. And I think that a lot of these do just have good designs. Um I agree with the good design parts. Point. Yeah. Um so big anime titties. She may have some. Yes. But I'm not sure. Yeah, someone, yes, was my top waifu. Oh. What could it be? I wonder. Cavendish. <laughs> no one knows. It? It's a uh, Ram from the Zero. His favorite wife. <laughs> no, how did you know? <laughs> it's no, no, no. <laughs> All right. So Diana the Cavendish. Diana Cavendish. I am Vamp Cavendish. She is my wife. She <laughs> is reality. Cavendish is confirmed. Now. What is so great about her? Other than she's one of the best character designs uh, in the nation of the world. Basically just ever. 
I think that's enough. I think I'm done. <laughs> but isn't she gay? Connor, aren't you gay? I'm not gay. Mm -hmm. Aren't you bi? Connor is Catholic. Nah. Um, Talk more about no. Diana. <laughs> yeah, like... for to actually go into like Diana, um, she is so with Chitose. It was um, my respect or really acknowledgement of the self. And why is my nickname on Discord Rem is my waifu? <laughs> God damn it! God damn! It. I'm gonna fucking. All right, all right, all right. So. No, I mean, so to ignore that, um, Chitose was the acknowledgement of the self, and Selkie is the appreciation of a free spirit, which I somewhat hold, and, uh, but not fully realized. And Diana is, she doesn't have a free spirit, but she is one of the most respectable characters in anime. When I mean respectable, I mean, as when I look at a person, I'm like, who should I respect most? Like, who is most deserving of, you know, my admiration and who I want to aspire to be? It is Diana. She, she lost all her powers just to work back up as a small child to gain back, like, what she did have is just an innate ability. Like she is just a god. She's basically an aristocrat that honed her, her status. That's what make her, make, makes her she, great. She was an aristocrat that got shit taken away from her, and then she took it right back. Basically. Like, too good. Um, Diana's like another one of those characters where I feel like I'm going to make some blog post in the future, so I don't really have... Yeah, much I, more to go into. I, I have that about a couple of my waifus as well. We should do a like just a favorite, like just I don't know, best girl podcast or something as well. If if you do best girl, I'll probably like um include video games and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah, it, but that that one's actually gonna be a non me one, you know. Wouldn't it basically be basically the exact same thing? No, I I no, consider exactly. a waifu and a best girl to be different things. I don't but know if actually, I think so, but... but they are too much similar. I, I don't think they are. I think... For me, it'll be easier because I would, uh, for best girl, I would branch out more, do yeah. like more games and stuff. So and more like TV shows. Right now, I try to stick to just anime and just like characters, I would consider like um, relationship kind of things. Yeah. I've come to the any... reason over this podcast. I care more about like. Um, style and coolness than actually cuteness and sex appeal in a wife would. Ah. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Again, with, I with, I um... To, like, pick better now that I've, like, talked about what I think one is. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for, for me, uh, I don't know if you guys have any, like, through line with any of my characters of, you know, excluding the, the meme live action one, though I do like her. Um, as a character um uh there's just like a multitude of reasons and actually recently uh with chitose i've been like like that's just one of the signs of me appreciating uh media and characters that are similar to me now because i've always been very like afraid like of acknowledging that or like thinking about that oh, so uh for me chitose is like a big step forward and being red, more red pilled than I already was. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pass on that blue pill. You know, face reality. Great. Can I write Jordan Peterson. My boy. If you um, if you donate more than one dollar to to our Patreon, you can get the video <laughs> of us <laughs> discording memes. <laughs> That's I more than one dollar, man. Screen without it, guys. I yeah. think we are forgetting the greatest wife in animated, or at least the first one. Oh no. Hakuja then? The, the, the Spider and the White Serpent? No, nope. Miyazaki's I'm, I'm wife too? I'm talking about Betty Boop. 
Oh yeah, that that that's pretty quality. The, the problem is if you search uh, Betty Boop, well, they are they're all terrible. Go watch the old Betty Boop uh, cartoons; they're the best. She's a quality wife. Yes, but... who, who's who is our favorite Disney princess? Go on, let's go. Um, I don't. I don't want to. Mononoke Ime. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, 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 take that back. I already, I already did this one. <laughs> does, does Alice in Wonderland count? Or Alice yeah, from let's, Alice? Let's go. Let's yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, Mulan. She's badass. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. she's really good. Oh, yeah, I really love this movie too. Walter Gitt, the character in the movie. Yeah. Rapunzel's pretty good, like from Tangled. I thought That's you meant. Funny. I thought you meant the sixties Rapunzel. God damn it! <laughs> no, no, not that one. <laughs> We have VHS tapes of nearly every Disney movie because my, my my sisters were there. Amen. Them. Yeah. They had no character though. <laughs> Shut up. I don't remember this movie, so you know, I saw them when I was like six or like five or seven, one, probably even earlier than that. I have to ask my sister. We should do a Disney cast for the memes. I won't be on it. I won't be on it. <laughs> <laughs> I would you don't. Yeah. I haven't seen a Disney movie in forever. Actually, no, no. I'll be honest, but I won't say anything. Damn. If you uh, guys don't mind, I'm going to post more pictures of Rintesca because I was, <laughs> and I want you con to convince you all to play the game. Uh, I'm Rin not gonna play good. a visual novel. I think they're annoying. Rin is good. Rin is worth it. <laughs> I guarantee you that. <laughs> I just want to read. I would just want to read a fucking book. It's pretty great. Not have a fake book with. Uh, okay, I, I, I guess we're ending it here, guys. Um, thanks for watching the first yeah. inaugural uh, episode of. Uh, Remember to um, dislike and report us for child abuse. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Uh, remember to, uh, I'm leave probably Tamales. going to dislike this video, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you Just subscribe, be sure to like and subscribe yeah. straight after. Uh, any last words, anyone here, before I uh, end it? Uh, uh, waifus are bad, and if you like waifus, you are a bad person. Uh, I'm just going to say that if you wasted uh, almost two hours to hear us talk about this, you are probably an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you watching, listening to such vapid content? What could you possibly be doing right now? It's Playing like an hour and a half long. Day? in the first place we are the problem we are what's wrong with anime <laughs> no actually it's not it's the anime that's wrong yeah kill kill the anime like a, especially anime goblin slayer news. goblin slayer is the best anime of 2018 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> i can't right. get myself motivated no, to make this the video the no. anymore like thank you I, I, I can't get myself motivated to sing the fucking song and like actually do it. I think, I think it's over now. I Maybe I will do it, but I don't know. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.